Yorobun, welcome back to K Drama Villa. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're still on my channel for the very first time, hi, my name is Oinda, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning in. Today's video, as you can already tell from the title, is another K Drama video. I feel like it has been a long time I did one of these. I initially planned to make it a monthly video but guys university is not giving me time or the space to watch as much dramas for me to be able to recommend the good ones for you guys so bear with me guys but anyways guys I'm back today and that's what's important well in this video I'm going to be talking about 2020 K dramas that you would not regret watching um, I feel like most of these dramas were very good. In fact, I feel like they were they were very good, but I don't say they were underrated or under talked about. I would just say they didn't have as good publicity as like some other dramas. Like the King has the King had really good publicity. Um, Startup had really good publicity as well. Um, but the, most of the dramas I'm going to mention in this video didn't really have good publicity, and they had like really amazing storyline. Without any further delay, guys, let's get into the video. So, guys, you know the drill. I'll be looking at my system and I'll be looking back at you guys. So, don't get confused, okay? Okay. Um, also, I'm not sure. Since I tend to talk a lot, I might go off track and drop a little bit of spoilers here and there. So, if you do not like spoilers, I suggest that you just read the description box for the names of the dramas rather than watching to the end. But even though you can even though you I really appreciate it, even though you watch it to the end because the watch time really means a lot to me, you know. But yes guys, let's start. So on my list, my very first drama is Find Me in Your Memory. I watched Find Me in Your Memory earlier this year and uh, I can't remember how I found the drama. I just know like Oh, I think I found it on Instagram, like one of those pages just randomly posted it. And I was like, oh, this girl is fine. Now. Let me actually watch this drama. And like from episode one, I was hooked. Those who know me know that 30 seconds into episode one, I will drop it if it's rubbish. They know. But anyway, Sha, for me to finish episode one, then it really means that I like the drama. Excuse that. But anyways, guys, from episode one, I was really hooked in Find Me Your Memory. And the plot is... Okay, let me just say from my memory, right? What I can remember from the plot is like a, a an Easter actress and in a, a news anchor, yes, that's what they're called. A news anchor. I think he was an, I don't know if they called him is a Easter anchor as well. But he was a very popular popular news anchor and he like he does his job really well. But he's like alone and he has no friends. Aside to one friend that is his doctor. He has no friends and all that. So he has a condition where he can never um, forget any Thing. like you know how like over time our memories fade and stuff but in his life he can never forget anything he remembers every single thing down to the detail while the babe has like a huge gap in her memory that was like she lost her memory shall became somehow it shall trunk it up then there's a huge gap where like there's stuff she can't really remember like she had like partial amnesia like a whole section of her life just wiped out then she mixed her memory was also mixed so basically it's like two opposite people one person that can remember everything in detail and one person that can't remember anything at all so basically there's a joining factor for two of them there's a there's a there's a common thing that brings them together basically sha the shall come together you guys know the rest know how the rest goes so let me try and read plot for you guys from Asian Weekly. So basically, the drama talks about a love story between the news anchor and the actress. He works as a news anchor in a broadcasting station. He has, you guys know, I don't know English, but let me try hyperthermia, a condition which allows him to remember nearly every moment of his life. Meanwhile, Yohei Jin is a top actress. She has forgotten her past. Due, due to this, she leaves her as she pleases. So yeah, that's basically what the drama talks about and like it's really really good it's really really interesting like i don't understand why this drama didn't make as much noise as the king and all that maybe if, um budget for publicity was low but it's such a good drama i will give it a solid 7.5 8 over 10 and this drama cannot be found on netflix but you can find it on all the illegal websites so drama cool drama nice my drama upa 
those are the ones I use. If I draw a nice concept, you don't enter those being they they are no longer active. But I'll leave the links to this website in the description box as well. And my next drama is the good detective. One of the reasons why this video is actually coming late because like I was supposed to put out this video during the week last because this video is going to be out on Monday the 30th. This video was supposed to come out either this weekend or during the week but I put it off because I had never finished watching Good Detective and I wanted to see if it was a good watch or not for me to add it to the list. But anyways I finally got around to finishing this and my days let me tell you guys something yeah you remember how I said I would drop a drama 30 seconds into it? I'm not good. Okay, I'm a bit exaggerating, but, but like sometimes 10 minutes is the most I can do. Like 10 minutes into the drama, like I will give you a chance to capture me within the first 10 minutes. And if you can't do that as a drama, I'm going to drop you. Sometimes, obviously, like my judgment is wrong. Sometimes my judgment is right. But yeah, I dropped it. The point is that I dropped the good detective. Like when he start, when he was airing, I started watching it. But I dropped episode. I dropped it so fast. I tried it the second time. I dropped it again. I finally decided to watch it for this thing. And when I was actually watching, I was like, girl, you see, sometimes be patient. But yes, yeah, drama is amazing. The acting is also amazing. The lead character is um, what's his name? Let me see. The lead character is Jan Song Jo. Hopefully, that's properly pronounced. But yeah, so guys, basically, the good detective is so good. Like, the lead character, the guy, he's acting. My god, Jesus is Lord. His acting was so amazing. Basically, his character was someone that, um, not like he couldn't feel emotion, but like. He couldn't relate emotionally with people if that makes sense like oh um, he doesn't know how to explain he's like a loner so he doesn't really know how to relate with people he doesn't know how to tell he just he can't differentiate if this person's situation is a sorry or a congratulations if that makes sense but yes yeah, so that's kind of person he was so the way he portrayed that character that's sad lonely um what's the other word sad he was sad he was lonely then emotional trauma the way she put um portrayed his character ah it was really really good like he's acting like he's acting from familiar wife he was the supporting character in familiar wife and in familiar wife he was a joyful playful cast but in the good detective it was totally like the opposite it was like the quiet lonely um not like it was no i wouldn't use what self-righteous but he was by the book kind of person like the way he just portrayed his character was so amazing and i really love that about the drama but anyways guys the drama is basically like good detective going up against bad cops and unraveling like mysteries behind cases and stuff so there's no lot of romance in it there's a little bit of romance there's a very little bit of romance but it's not really really if you're looking for romance this is most likely not the drama for you but yeah it's a very good drama it's solid 7 over 10 like i give it a very solid over 10 7 over 10 so let me go ahead and read the plot from asian wiki so the drama is set in incheon south korea the detective the detective tries to catch criminals who hide ugly truths Kang Do Chan has worked as a detective for the past eight years. He was born and raised in Incheon. He investigates cases using his experience and personal connection for growing scientific techniques or reasoning power. So yeah, this is the other, this is supporting guy. So basically, yeah, he's a supporting guy. So basically, he made a not like he made a mistake, but there was a case he didn't as the and I, as I said here, yeah, he uses personal um, connections and all that. So he didn't really, really use like compassion and all that to do the to do the to solve the case which now led to like a mistake in the case so like the person was wrongly accused and blah 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 so that's like his own background story to the whole drama then there's Hojinyeon who is an elite detective he has nine years of experience which is the lead character unlike Kang Do Chan he investigates cases using evidence and insights into this criminal's side Due to a trauma from his childhood, he does not share his feelings. Bam, that's what I was looking for. He's well thanks to his late uncle who left him a large inheritance. Then there's Jin Sun Yu, which is the lead, lead female character. She works as a newspaper reporter. She she is a how I can't 
can't speak English. She's a five year veteran and she's passionate about her work. So basically, three of them have come together to like solve the mystery behind like the case that the case that the case that led to a wrongful verdict, like to, that led to a wrongful um, arrest in like five years ago. So yeah, they come together to now solve the case and unravel the case and find out like the powerful people that were trying to bury evidence, trying to bury the truth and all those things. This drama is like a story seven over ten. If you like a um, crime investigation and all those things with a little bit of romance, this is definitely the drama for you. And this drama can be found everywhere. It's on Netflix, it's on Drama Cool. But yeah, moving on to my next drama is Search. Guys, my girl Crystal, she did a number on this drama, okay? Okay, now school is in session. Krista was so amazing in this drama. Forget the fact that she's fine. But damn, Krista, call me, call me, okay? Yes, call me, you have my number. She did a number on this drama. She was so good. And I said that she was she's so fine. Like, beauty likes to distract. That's how she is. But anyways, guys, this drama basically is it's an ocean drama, shorts. T eight, 10 episodes, I think he had just like 10 episodes, literally 10 episodes, yeah. Started at the same time as Startup, I was so excited for both dramas. Then when I watched a Startup episode, one of Startup was like, yeah, this is going to be rubbish, so I stopped watching it and I just talked to Search. Now everybody is, that is watching Startup is crying, woo, 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 sets herself free from bondage. Now, back to the, back to class. So Search is basically a, is a military drama if that makes sense it sets on on the military like there's nothing much about it it's just going on like on military basically so there was something that happened in the south korea and north korea border something happened in north and south korea border where where a woman and a child from north korea tried to defect to south korea but let me not give you guys too much info but that's the beginning of the whole that's the genesis and the revelation of the whole drama so they tried to defect her now leave that years later then years later there is crystal and the other guy that's the lead character let me see if i can pronounce his name kodojin is that his real name <laughs> but anyways guys this are my lead characters he is doing his compulsory military service why crystal is in the military like she wants to be in the military not like females don't want to do military service what is wrong with you Anyway, she's she shy in the military. So he's like, I think in his last month or his last two weeks or his last week, he go on set. He sure has like little time to leave it for his service to be complete so he can leave the army. Then all of a sudden, from nowhere, they give him a tax that, oh, because he's running the army, he's a military dog. Um, what's the word? What? He's a military dog supervisor. So, um, out of nowhere now. When the guy is already thinking about how he will go to his mother's restaurant and eat food and all that, like he's about to be discharged, come on. They now come from nowhere and give him a. I don't want to call it tax because that's not what military guys call it. But I'll just call it tax because I can't find a military term for it. So they now come from nowhere and give him a military tax. And with the tax, he has to work with Crystal, which is happens to be his ex girlfriend. But, anyways, guys. The drama is so amazing and it's like so straight to the point. They didn't drag any storyline. Like there's no romance in it. Like obviously, like there's a little bit of romance. So it's basically a case of they were exes, they still did in the past, but they still have things for each other and blah 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 blah. So there's a little bit of romance in it. But it was so straight to the point, so brief, like it's only eight over ten. Come on. But anyways, the plot according to Asia and Ricky, it says that military search troop member, including Kang Do Chan and Soye Rim, try to fight against a mysterious creature and struggle to get away from the DMZ. They build a carriage through their struggle. Kang Do Chan is a sergeant with only little time left in the army, while Soye Rim is an elite officer and she has a secret about her birth. So guys, basically, that, that's the whole plot of the drama, but like, the drama is so nice. Like, and the ending, and I like the fact that they were realistic about it. They were, they were realistic about the ending that ending like let's not talk about it but let's talk about it because it was so realistic they did not want to try to be like americans where they'll say let's take it for experiment or let's take it for this or let's take it to revive it back to the original form they were realistic about the situation yes that's one thing i like about the ending but yeah let's not talk too much before we spoil the drama let's keep going my number two drama my number two drama why didn't anybody tell me, talk about lies of lies? Like publicity. What happened to the publicity of this drama? But lie after lie. 
Ah. That this drama was so good. Like when I was watching, I was like, why is this drama actually not making it's not generating as much audience or as much attention as like other dramas like um, it's okay not to be okay, the king and channel monarch, start up, the other drama of the year was really loud myself. But like I was so confused because it's such a good drama and the plot twist they gave us at the end. I wasn't expecting that, but I appreciate it and I'm not complaining. Okay, let's go. Well, anyways, lie after lie is but anyways, it talked about this bimba that they arrested her for him that was banned. And she was not trying to prove her innocence, like, oh, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, but nobody listened to her. So she tried to reach out to this reporter, and like, the reporter was also convinced, like, he had, a, he had a hunch that she actually didn't kill her husband, but like, he was not able to meet that because of what Yoruba people call Anwaye. So, don't meet that because of forces of evil people. So now, she not ended up serving her time, like, 10 years in prison. Bear in mind that she was pregnant. She was pregnant while all this thing was going on. She was pregnant when the artist of killing her husband. So she had a child in jail, blah, 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 blah. So circumstances now, things shall happen, shall life shall happen to her. Her child now ended up being adopted by a single dad. Well, he wasn't a single dad when he adopted her, the child. But yeah, her child she ended up with the reporter and the reporter was a single dad. So she now devised a means that she, since she wants to be the mother to her child uh, and the child will the child was actually wrong free taken from her not like she gave the child up or anything like it was they took time to giving up her child she didn't give up the child the child took time to the child away from her so she now said that she wanted to be since the child was since the man was just raising her as a single father and he didn't have a wife or anything she decided to step in and take the role to be the mother to her child but she was going to come in as a stepmother to her child but this drama is really amazing like it's a solid 7.8.5 slash nine over ten because it's very good so the plus population which he says that jun so is a daughter in law of a powerful shape family she suddenly becomes a murderer who killed her husband after she's released from prison she tries to get her daughter back she approaches kang jimin who is the reporter who has adopted her daughter he's, he's a call as ice reporter jun so pretends to fall in love with him and, and attempts to marry to become the stepmother of her daughter so that's how the plot goes but like at the end sha the sha find she was sha able to solve like the death of her husband and like who killed her husband and stuff but like the drama is so amazing this drama cannot be found on netflix um but it's on drama nice why do i keep saying drama nice i'm so used to it it's on drama cool and it's all my drama opera and it's very amazing the casting the acting the script the visuals everything so nice gone then my other drama, drama was good but like was it it didn't get like enough publicity or marketing as this other dramas but i think like down the line into the episode it started getting more publicity which i was really impressed about because this drama is really amazing and also i hope like this drama actually opens doors for my baby boy the drama i'm talking about guys is flower of evil flower of evil was so good oh my days she can see yeah, Lee Jonji's acting. Did you see the emotional? Did you see his eyes? Did you see his eyes come off it? His eyes. Like there are some bits I was actually I was like I got there. And the baby girl, my god, my baby girl. She was so good. Like they're literally the best father and daughter duo I've ever seen on screen. Their acting was so perfect. And I really hope like this drama opens doors for him. But basically, Sha. The plot of the drama talks about. Oh, what does it talk about again? It talks about uh, uh, a family now. The guy has plenty of secrets and his wife is a detective. So he's living the kind of life where his cop wife cannot find about his real identity, basically. Not because of anything, because it will complicate situations and it complicate his life for him. So he now has to like be on track and be on toe, like, and keeping up to everything his wife was doing. So and yes also do it like a love on the outside they look like a loving perfect family like everybody was so envious of them and all that even his even his own father and mother quote and unquote was envious of his perfect life they were so envious of him like but anyways guys so basically he was showering her he was showering her as character and like doing things and also the lead cast guy like 
he can't feel any emotion but he can't feel emotion he can't feel happiness he can't feel sadness he can't feel anger and all these things he had like a physical a, a psychological condition i don't know what it's called but basically that's how it was for him in the drama so he had to like put on an act and everything for his wife for his child and his family and his everything he had to portray like the best best husband and best brother but let me read the plot from asian wiki because i think um twisting or narrating it in a way that is actually not going so basically Chachi Won is a detective she is married to Ben Hewson and they have a daughter Ben Hewson seems like a committed father and husband but he hides his cruel past and live on, on, under another person's identity he deceives his wife completely Chachi Won learns of his deception and ch chases his past so basically guys that's literally all the drama is about and this drama is only 7.5 over 10 I can't believe it this drama is a sorry 7.5 over 10 that's a 7.5 sorry 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 come again 9.5 over 10 that's how good this drama was everything the acting the visuals the story the ending like even the character development i'm like oh, oh and the way my baby girl was doing i think i'll go ahead and insert some clips after this to see like some of my favorite scenes not like my favorite scenes but yeah my favorite scenes are some of my favorite father daughter deal scenes i'll go ahead and insert it but this drama was so amazing i believe like everyone should watch this drama this drama is not netflix but it can be found on drama cool and my drama opa if you haven't seen this drama i'm, I'm looking at slaves mm. mm. but yes guys then my last drama in this for this video is going to be it's still like at the moment it's ongoing it's I re i'm really enjoying it so far i'm really really enjoying it like everything maybe because of my favorite guy is there and like he's looking so sweet and his hair color is like oh i'm like just like oh my god i believe i just said a whole bunch of nothing but anyways guys this current the drama i'm currently seeing that is rounding up it's still of nine tailed. I believe a lot of people are watching this. This had like really good pop. It's an amazing drama, and I like the storyline. And maybe it's because of like I like like these folklore stories, these folk tale stories. So like maybe that's one of the reasons why I actually really like it personally. Because I've seen people that said they didn't like it, and I feel like that's fine. But I feel like one of the contributing factors to how much I love the drama is like they are talking about is a lot of folktale going on and i just love the story especially when it's not like it's folktales from another country get it? it's just very interesting to me so basically sha is about a, a a a fox that used to be a mountain god but gave up his position because of love and he has been waiting it for 600 years is it 600 years or more than that i shall wait for a very 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 long time for the love of his life to be reincarnated but then again, she gets reincarnated and they face the same problem they faced in the past that led to her death. But this time, he's trying to solve the problem without it leading to her death. I will go ahead and read the plot from Asian Wiki. So, Eon was once a mountain spirit of Belen, some, 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 something I cannot pronounce. He sacrificed his life as a mountain god to resurrect the woman he loved, Aroma. Eon now lives his life as a nine-tailed fox in human form. He has lived this way for hundreds of years meanwhile Jaya works for a tv station as a pd of documentaries she seeks out stories on supernatural back in 1999 her parents were involved in a car accident in yoguge she remembers a man that saved her in that accident now Jaya re reviews cctv footage from a wedding hall where the bride has disappeared she sees the man that saved her as a child walking out of the wedding hall with a red umbrella his name is eon guys this drama is so interesting and this drama is solid i'm not gonna lie i'm probably going to say 8.5 over 10 or 9 over 10 no i'm going to give this drama a solid 8.5 over 10 the visuals the wardrobe the acting the storyline i really really love it i know like it's not a computer drama and like two episodes is a lot for them to mess it up which i hope they don't but i really really love the character development as well and I, I like that we get to see like everybody's life story everybody's every Body involved in the drama we get to see their life story like their character development like 
um, in Yon's personal assistance for his guy, we get to see like the story of how he came about. We get to see the story of him and his estranged brother's relationship. We get to see everyone's story, which I think is really nice. It makes the drama more interesting and makes it more understandable. But yeah, I guys, everyone should watch this drama actually. Like it's really amazing. I really love it. You know. <laughs> Don't take me seriously. But anyways, guys, I'm about to say we have come to the end of this video. But anyways, let me just give one drama that I recently it's on the counter started airing yesterday. And trust me, if I say I watched episode one to the end and I wait for episode two, then the drama is good. That's the thing about me. Shayo and Fumi and Bisayo, they know that it doesn't take me off 30 seconds from eating tropic drama. 10 seconds in and I'll cut it off. That's me. Not as you can see me, but like you guys, you guys get the gist, you guys get the vibes. But the uncanny encounter is I watched episode one and it's so interesting. Like it's on Netflix. Uncanny encounter is on Netflix, so it's a Netflix original and it's so interesting. Like episode one was so interesting, it was so good. And the way it ended, I was like, Yes! Oh well, yeah. the ending was so nice. I can't after I'm done recording this video, I'm going to make lunch and see episode two. It was so good, my days. Watch really but yes guys we've come to the end of this video if there's any drama that came out this year that didn't get enough publicity but you think had a very good storyline and was very good please leave it down in the description box so i and other people in this k-drama family can find something to watch because you know times they had everybody's locked inside but anyways guys and if you've seen any of this drama you enjoyed it or you did enjoy it or you just want to share your opinion on how you feel on this drama please don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section aside that your comments are actually important but aside, aside from the fact that your comments are actually important rather it's nice for us to be the community if that makes sense but yes guys so if you like this video please don't forget to share it with your friends don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video also by the way guys one of my favorite people just started her youtube channel and she also in fact you know my own channel so you see k-drama uh, content once in a while maybe once in a month so as spirits will have it whenever i remember but my friend's channel is dedicated solely to k-dramas to k-drama recommendation and she has been in this k-drama journey for a very longer period than i have been so guys anyways my point is that please don't forget please check out her channel and uh, please subscribe and i promise you won't regret it she has more content coming out soon her youtube channel is fumi's k drama smoothie i'll leave the link in my description box i'll leave her instagram i'll leave her the link to her channel in the description box and i'll leave the link to her um, twitter page as well in the description box and i'll catch you guys in my next video because i've said a whole lot of rubbish bye